Hospital in New York are giving an update on the condition of an American doctor who's been flown to be treated for the Ebola virus. Good evening. A patient came to Mount Sinai's emergency room in the early morning hours with symptoms of fever and recent travel to a West African country. The patient was promptly isolated and placed in a strict isolation facility at Mount Sinai such that we could protect uh, the patient and also any staff and other patients in the facility and all visitors. We we're very confident in that our work with the federal, state, and local authorities will lead to a prompt evaluation of this patient and that we'll be able to hopefully find that there is a more common cause of fever and other symptoms that the patient has. Uh, but it, using an abundance of caution, we're going to work carefully with the CDC to make certain that this patient does not have the Ebola virus disease. Thank you. And with that, we'd open it up to questions. Yeah. Sure. Well, the first thing the first thing we'd like to stress is that the first thing we'd like to stress is that odds are this is not Ebola. It's much more likely that it's a much more common condition, um, and um, we're ruling those things out as well. In conjunction with the CDC, who's been guiding us on the testing protocol, we're sending specimens down to them, and we expect a, an answer uh, hopefully in the next uh, 24 to 48 hours. Although we can't guarantee it. And Uh, the treatment of Ebola is a symptomatic treatment process, and so we already have this patient in a special facility where all supportive tr uh, treatment could be given, as would occur at any hospital in the nation. So he wouldn't then have to go to Atlanta like these other two folks coming from Liberia. He wouldn't be out of Atlanta. No, we believe that the uh, care that could be provided here would be sufficient for any patient with that disease, but we're, of course, hopeful that there will be a rapid recovery and this turns out not to be Ebola disease. Have you already sent samples to the CDC? The samples are uh, in process right now. My best guess is it'll be sometime tonight or tomorrow morning. Is there any testing being done 